I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. <laughs>
a hamster is very similar to mice. It looks like mice. And as they say, it's about 86 to 90 species of mice that are found there. So a hamster is a rodent and it falls under the same category of mice and hence it is not permissible to keep them as pets because of the instruction of the Prophet ﷺ to kill them wherever we find them and to dispose of them. Okay, so what we learn from this, that the Prophet of Allah, he told the Muhammadan that mice is an evil person by nature. You see, I can say, I mean, uh, uh, we can say that mice is a harmful uh, creature. Uh, we can say, uh, you know, I mean, uh, we can describe a, a, like some evil person to describe him like the same as a mice, uh, etc. But this is a statement. The Bible actually speaks about mice. But it's not the mice working for the devil. Muhammad, he claimed. That shaitan, he used mice as a soldier is of his own. And shaitan, he teach the hamster or a mouse to burn your house. If a mice take a little, let us say you are having fire in your house, like, you know, fireplace. Or, you know, all days they're cooking, they cook using fire. Muhammad, the superstition person who is absolutely a false prophet, and this is proving him to be a false prophet. Instead of saying, well, this is an animal, he does not know what he is doing, he's just a stupid. If you have a fire, you know, you better, before you sleep, turn it off. Because you never know what might happen. But according to Muhammad, the mice is used by Satan and purpose to burn you. Read carefully. And this is Sahih. They cannot say this is fiction. He, the Prophet, said, when you go to sleep, is extinguish the, your lamps, for the devil guides a creature like this to thus to do to do this to you, and set you in fire. If you ask yourself, Muhammad is speaking wisdom of his own or wisdom of his God, Muslim they say Muhammad he never say anything except it's coming from God, and this is why they are writing down what he is saying. And that's why they are obeying his orders. That's why the Quran says, whatever the Prophet he gave you, obey. Actually, the Quran says, whoever obey the Prophet, he obeys Allah. Which means, obeying Allah is not really number one. Obeying Muhammad is number one. And the proof of that, Allah, he says, you do muta. Muhammad later, he says, don't do muta. Muslim, which, follow, which one do you follow? They follow Muhammad. Allah in the Quran, chapter 4, verse 24, says, you do muta. Muhammad later he changed his you know his uh, his mind that said we do not follow Muta or uh, the Quran says you pray three times uh, uh, Muhammad he says pray five times which one we follow Muhammad this is the only cult which is claiming that Muhammad is just a servant of God but yet he can abrogate God orders and how Muhammad he got abrogation of God orders nobody knows. Because shouldn't you receive Quran to abrogate the Quran? But looking at this story here, that there is a mice and he is evil. And the story go farther in stupidity. If we go to Ibn Kathir, I'm trying to find in Ibn Kathir in English where it says that. Uh, let me see if I can find that in... in uh, Uh, 
Let us see. Because in Ibn Kathir, the city Muhammad, he go farther with his chapati. <clears throat> Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Let us try chapter 11 and see if we can find it in English. And this is why, by the way, you know, like we show you reference, etc. And that's why I ask you to make a comment to be sure that people are concentrating with me. They are not just busy with the chat. Actually, today I was thinking to turn off the chat and even to turn off the comment. Because I want to be sure that I'm not wasting my time with people who don't care. I'm not here to waste my time. And I don't want to see people saying, keep saying to me, thank you. That thank you is useless. It's, it hurt me, actually. I want people to say what you learned. People to show me that they are learning something and they have opinion of what we said. Not people repeating each other copy paste like Muhammad and thank you, Christian Prince. I'm not here to say or to wait for you to say thank you. I'm here to serve my Lord. So let us see in Ibn Kathir if we can find the story here. Um, oh. Okay, let us see. In verse 40, we did not find anything. Let us see, try 36, 39. All right. Uh-huh. Uh, you see, in English, you see, Ibn Kathir in English is not the same as Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Let me show you. You see, I look for Ibn Kathir, the same chapter as we are talking about. I could not find the story which I was going to quote for you. About the mice. We don't even see the word mice here. No, nowhere. But if we go to Ibn Kathir in Arabic, we will find the following story, totally different story. All of this, the Muhammadan, they took it off. Here it says that when Noah, he built uh, the ark, Allah ordered him to carry with him from every kind of animals uh, one pair. But he did not order him to carry the mice. The mice is a thief. He jumped there. Look what it says here. Abu Ubaidah ibn Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, he said, they could not, uh, no, hold on, let's read from the beginning. So when Noah, when Allah ordered Noah to carry with him from every, from every uh, uh, pair, uh, uh, all kind of animals, and plants, and uh, male and female, and etc. The first thing he entered the ark, it was the birds, and that was the durra. And then the last animal who entered the ark was the donkey. And then shaitan, he hauled himself in the tail of the donkey, because now the Muslim trying to explain to you how shaitan survived the flood. So shaitan, he, hold himself with the donkey tail and he enter with him so he used donkey shaitan hiding under his tail to enter the ark and then when the donkey tried to get up uh, shaitan he hold him down because he was holding him from his tail and then noah this is like he's entering the ark now. And Noah, he starts saying to the donkey, what's, what's wrong with you? Oh, you, get in. And he tried to get up and he could not. And then Noah, he gave up. He says, you know what? 
enter in even if shaitan is with you. So they were able to get in. Because now he gave a permission even to shaitan to get in. That's it. Then the story continue. Here it says, and when Noah, he carried from every kind of animals two pair, uh, he said to his friends or his companions, how, uh, how, how we can be, uh, feel safe? And we have all those animals with us. And then he said, then Allah, he made, the lion have a flu. And this is the first time the flu came to this earth. So why the flu came to this earth? Because how Noah is going to capture the, 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 the lion and put him in the ark? Well, he have to be sick. So he cannot eat him. So shaitan have a flu. And then when sorry not shaitan the, the lion have a flu and then the companion of noah i don't know what companion is that they told him complaining about the mice and they said the bad creature the mice is destroying our food and our uh, in our stuff like clothing or etc so allah inspired the lion to sneeze and then a cat came from his mouth or from his nose and then the mice she hid away from it this is islam i'm going to use google translation i will post the link for you so you don't say we are making things up and, and ask yourself, how come we could not find this story in Ibn Kathir? It says this page could not be translated. Why? Here we go. <laughs> this is Muhammad and this is Islam. This is the stupid cult they are trying to fool you with, trying to make you believe that this is religion. The God who made the lion sneeze. So a cat will come from his nose. How in the world this is can be a religion? Ibn Mas'ud mentioned that they could not carry the lion with them until the favor was cast on him. Ibn Hatim said, My father told us blah 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 blah. I know okay. I mean you can read the rest. I'm going to post the link for you. You can save it in your time. But if anyone can find me the, 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 the Ibn Kathir in English translating this, please let me know so we can share the English link. Because here, as you see, those cowards, they took off the story and we cannot find it there. Why? Because they don't want you to see how stupid Islam is. Why the translator, he did not, a translator should not cut off pages from Ibn Kathir. A translator should post Ibn Kathir as it is. You are a translator. Why did it not translate what Ibn Kathir he said? Because simply it's an embarrassment. It's a stupid. So the fake translation, this is why I say to you, when you learn about Islam, from Muslim, you never learn Islam. If any of you would like to read this story, how you can find it, know where you can find it. Why it is not in Ibn Kathir in English? Why it is in Ibn Kathir in Arabic? What is missing? What is missing is very simple. The dignity, the honesty. And just to give you more reference, 
This should appear literally in Ibn Kathir, volume number two, page number 461. And if we do Google translation here too, you will find again what I said to you. Now the translation here is coming funny. The word mice disappear. Hmm. Look at this. This is a Muslim replying to us. The lion sneezed and the cat came from his nose. The Muslim are replying for us. I mean, what, what they will say, how you can reply to that? This is a Muslim video about how Allah, he made the lion have a fever. So he sneezed and the cat came out and the mouse hide from him. And even the reference is there. This is the noble Quran, interpretation of Ibn Kathir, the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. But this is the noble Quran, interpretation of Ibn Kathir here in English. We don't find it. And we went to verse number 40, we could not find it. And we went to verse number 36 to 37, we could not find it. Are we reading the same book? They lie. Islam in Arabic is not the same as Islam in English. This is why actually I get upset from people who try to debate Islam and they have little knowledge and the Muslims, they line up to debate them. This is why we see those potatoes, they line up to talk to John, what's his name, Peterson. What this guy, he knows about Islam, nothing. Zero. So they knew that they are safe and secure that he will not get them busted. So whatever happened in this interview will not be against Islam really. It's going to be just an opinion. This is why I ask Christians to refrain from debating Muhammadan unless you are a very strong in knowledge and you have your reference handies. And you will notice always that when the Muslims, they praise somebody and he is not a Muslim, obviously he is not doing a good job. Do we agree on that one? If this guy Peterson, he was exposing Muhammad, not a single Muslim will like what he said. They will be cursing him. But he said nothing. He was sitting there like, an, like a potato. One of you, he says to me that he respect Jesus. That is funny. A Christian, he respect Jesus. We worship Jesus. We respect Jesus. What respect Jesus mean? So, I want you always Stop being a naive. Don't learn from those who know nothing. And trust me, if they knew, Muslims will not even get close to them. Muslims, they get close to them because they don't know. This is the only reason. I'm not going to keep this video long. I just want to warn you about the hamster. He is the enemy of Allah. And in case you do not know, the Muslim, they have a fatwa against Mickey Mouse because he is the enemy of Allah and Muhammad, he warned us from him. Fatwa on Mickey Mouse. You might think I'm joking. I'm not. And there's tons of videos in YouTube about waging jihad on Mickey Mouse. Saudi cleric Muhammad al-Munjid, Mickey Mouse must die. This is how stupid this religion is.
Muslims in their countries, they are forcing TV stations to shut down Mickey Mouse program for it is promoting filth. It's a promoting that we should love hamster and he is the enemy of Allah. And by the way, since then, Mickey Mouse is in the hide. But he's okay, he's hello. He's wanted. This is how stupid, this is how dummy, this is how funny, this is stupid garbage religion, and this is how dangerous it is. Even animals, they want to do jihad against him. This is why the stupid Muhammad, in his stupid books, he said that if you kill even a lizard from the first hit, Allah will give you, etc. and etc. Blessing. If you kill him from the second hit, Allah will not give you same blessing, less blessing. Lizard, my friend, lizard. In case you do not know, lizard is a very useful animal. And he's harmless. Lizard, they help us to control insect. They are not bad. Why this faith in Muhammad, he want to kill the lizard? Muhammad, he have different opinion about lizard. That lizard are human, originally, and specifically they were Jews. And then Allah, he made those Jews lizard. And what is the proof of that according to Muhammad? Because he has five fingers. This is how stupid Muhammad is. All this garbage is about lizard. I mean, have you ever heard of a book like this? Read, read carefully with me. We were in the army with the messenger of Allah. We got some lizard. I roasted, so the Arab, they used to eat lizard at that time. And I brought it to Muhammad and placed it before him. He took a stick and he counted its fingers. And then he said, a group from the children of Israel were transformed into animals in the land. And I do not know which animals it was. He did not eat it, nor he forbid it. So Muhammad now he have a phobia that if he eat a lizard, he is going to eat a Jew. But the question here, how stupid Muhammad is, isn't it him in the Quran he said that Allah he made the Jews pigs and monkeys? Here he just said he do not know what animals Allah he made them to be. Please ask yourself, regardless of your religion, what kind of religion this religion is. How in the world this guy he say, I do not know what kind of animals he made them. You see here a translation says, be apes. In Arabic it says Qirada. Qirada mean monkeys. Allah, he cursed the Jews, he made them monkeys for breaking the Sabbath. Hey Allah, how come you are not practicing this now? Do you know how many Jews in Israel they break the Sabbath? Do you know even they have a festival for gays and lesbians in Israel and is done in Saturday? How come Allah is not make them pigs and monkeys? Those people, they were doing fishing in Saturday because Allah, he forbid the fish to come all the week and he make it appear only in Saturday. How stupid this story is. This is a religion. I say to you, to believe that this is a religion, you must be mentally ill. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Allah will not 
transform you into a monkey or a pig if you rape a child Allah will not transform you to a monkey or a pig if you rape a woman but Allah will transform you into a pig and a monkey if you do fishing on Saturday I mean it makes sense does it Allah will not make you a monkey for raping in Saturday, for killing in Saturday, for cheating in Saturday, for lying in Saturday, for doing all kinds of crimes in Saturday, but he will make you a monkey if you do fishing in Saturday. And this is the story here in front of you. And you want to convince me that this certified Egypt Muhammad is the one who will teach us the truth? If this is the truth, what is lies? Be with us later. We will go live on air again to get this potato. The other hamster, his name, who called himself Rabbi, to get him busted. And as you see, we don't care if you are a Jew, if you are a Hindu, if you are even a Christian, if you are an atheist, we don't care. Whoever a hamster, we will put him in his place. Never hesitate to expose the liars, no matter who they are. And by the way, just to prove to you that this guy is just another hamster, you will see every Muslim, he prays him. Have you ever heard of a Muslims in love with Jews? Since when? I am a Muslim in Indonesia and I love Rabbi to weave a singer. How is that? The Quran says you cannot find one human being, he is a believer, being kind and loving to even his parents if they are opposing Allah. Is this guy a Muslim? Thank you, Rabbi. You will see everybody there is a Muslim. All those who sponsor this guy, they are Muslims. Christians seem to hate it when Jews and Muslims find common ground and love and peace. This is what Shelley is saying to us. Hey, uh, Shelley. Uh, did you really find the common ground? What is that? The hypocrisy? Isn't it your stupid Quran says that you will find the most enemy to Allah is those who call themselves Jews? Common ground? <laughs> you found the common ground? where exactly that common ground is located. So we will go live again. Already I have the live broadcast set up. Feel free to leave your comment or you don't leave your comment, who cares anymore, I give up on people. You know, we try just to make them think and learn and be active, you know, in, 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 certain, in saving people. Because one comment of yours, it can maybe trigger a question in the head of a Muslim and can save his life. I hate it when I see people, they are just watching, not doing. I want Christians to be warrior for the Lord. Not people who watch the Lord waiting for his coming. You have a duty in this earth to do. When Jesus, he spoke in parables and he spoke about the three servants who God, he gave them or the master, he gave them a treasure. One, he hide it. One, he doubled it. One, he made it three times. Which one is you? Go and read the Bible. If you hide it, you go to hell. You are not blessed. For you did nothing. You are selfish. So time will come, my friend. And your life will be taken from you. And the Lord will ask you, how many people you brought to me? One of you, he made a comment in the, in the last video. He says, we are not like you, Christian Prince. We have a job. 
Or he said, Nori, we are not like Muslims. We have a job. So if he have a job, he is making money. If he's making money, is more important than God. So he have a job. He work 24 hours a day. He don't even have a minute. But he's watching my view too. But he don't have a time even to make a comment. Hypocrite, they have no place with the Lord. At least in your lifetime, bring one person to Jesus. At least. Imagine a father, he go out all day long, his children are hungry, and he come back and he have zero with him. The wife, she asked him, what you brought for us? The kids are crying. What you brought? Do you have food for them? What you will tell your kids? That is you. If you bring nothing to the Lord, he give you a life of 70, 80, 90, 100 year, whatever. And then you spend all this time doing what? You bought a house, you bought cars, you get married, you have children, but you could not save one human being for a very simple reason. You have nothing to do with the Lord. You are living for yourself. And whatever he gave you, he will take away from you, including your life. Those who belong to the Lord, they serve the Lord. And those who belong to themselves, they serve themselves. And you know better. Thank you very much for watching. Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam. And we prove it every day. God bless you. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him.